Hey everyone, today I'm having a look at the Asus P8Z68M Pro. This is an MATX motherboard and it has the Intel Z68 chipset, which means it has features such as Intel Smart Response technology, which allows you to use an SSD as cache for a hard drive, which gives increased hard drive performance. Also, Lucid Logic's Virtue graphics switching which means that the motherboard can switch between the graphics on board the Socket 1155 CPU and the discrete graphics that you plug into the motherboard. This gives increased performance for certain applications and also acts as a power saving feature. Just a quick look at the back of the box for some of the motherboard's main features. So Lucid Logic's Virtue and Intel Smart Response technology I've already mentioned. Just pause it if you want to read the write-ups. The Asus UEFI BIOS. Asus GPU Boost. So this is basically just overclocking of the GPU on board the Socket 1155 CPUs. SATA 6 gigabit per second and USB 3 support. Asus AI Suite 2. So this is a software suite which allows you to monitor and control your hardware at the specifications. Just a quick look at what's included in the package. Back I.O. shield. Two SATA 2 cables with right angle connectors on one end and two SATA 3 cables with right angle connectors on one end. Drivers and utility disc. Go download all the latest from the ASUS website, ASUS sticker, user guide and quick start guide. Now for a close look at the motherboard. Starting in the top left hand corner you can see the 8 pin EPS CPU power connector. Moving across to the right you can see a small switch. This is for the ASUS feature called GPU boost. Next to that is a 4 pin fan header. This is the CPU fan header. Moving down the right hand side of the motherboard you can see the memory slots. This motherboard supports up to 32 gigabytes of dual channel DDR3 up to 2200 megahertz. Across from there you can see the Memo K button. This is an ASUS feature and it's for when the system fails to boot due to incompatible memory settings. So when you press that it sets safe settings for the memory. Moving down you can see the 24 pin motherboard power connector. Next to that is a 3 pin fan header. Moving down you can see the SATA ports. The top blue SATA connector is from an AS Media controller. It's SATA 3. There's also an eSATA 3 port on the back panel from the same AS Media controller. The four light blue ports are from the Z68 chipset and they're SATA 2. The two white ports at the bottom are SATA 3 from the Z68 chipset. Moving across the bottom of the motherboard you can see the front panel headers. There is five USB 2 midboard headers for a total of 10 USB 2 ports on the midboard. In the bottom left hand corner of the motherboard you can see the front panel audio header and also a SB diff out header. Now for a look at the PCI slot configuration. Starting from the top we have a PCI Express Time 16 slot, then two PCI slots and a PCI Express Times 4 slot. This motherboard supports Crossfire X but not SLI. The top slot will always run at times 16 and the bottom slot always at times 4 even when running two graphics cards in Crossfire X. Moving across from there you can see a small heatsink. Underneath this is the Intel Z68 chipset. So this motherboard has a six phase power design. So socket 1155 this supports all the second generation Intel Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7 CPUs. You can see a small MOSFET heatsink. Just a quick look at this heatsink from the side. You can see that it's low profile, so there won't be any problems with CPU cooler compatibility. Just a quick look at the back of the motherboard. 
So both of the heat sinks are held on by plastic clips. Now for a look at the rear I.O. panel. Starting from the left we have a combo PS2 port, two USB 2 ports, optical SP diff out, a HDMI and display port, a D-sub and a DVI port, eSATA 3 port which runs off an AS Media controller, two USB 3 ports which also run off an AS Media controller and these are the only USB 3 ports on this motherboard. Then we have a Gigabit LAN port which runs off a Realtek 8111E chip and two USB 2 ports for a total of four USB 2 ports on the back panel. Now there's 10 USB 2 ports on the midboard, so that's for a total of 14 USB 2 ports on this motherboard. Then we have the 8 channel high definition audio which runs off a Realtek ALC892 chip. That sums up this review. Please click subscribe, like and favourite if you want to see more. Thanks everyone.